dimension with Steve Carino and Jack Victory. He sat here all night and told me he was a changed man. Nothing's changed about Rob Dimension. this all sorted out. Rob Dimension comes out with Steve Carino and Jack Victory. Right here, right here, both eyes. My 
Keener trying to get it down to one on one here. Two of these men have got to leave the ring. Former friends, former teammates, starting things off here. Steve Carino against C.W. Anderson. Judging by the events earlier tonight, there's no love lost. Maybe some deep-seated hatred from some events we don't know about. Either way, C.W. Anderson siding with the youngster, Ricky Landell. This is a different side of Carino that I'm used to seeing. I'd expect this from Jack Victory and especially from Rob Dimension, but Steve Carino? Brian Regal, that was not an easy announcement to make. Yeah, it looks like they were hassling you a little bit. Don't let Rob Dimension get to you. He's just a, he's a goof. What happened? I thought we had a new Rob Dimension, Brian. Just his usual games, sitting here lying for a whole hour and a half. I hear sales, unfortunately, of the Rob Dimension Reality TV are actually doing very well. That's not going to help his ego. Uh, people only like it because of the theme song. That could be it as well. How about this classic matchup right now, Brian? Every wrestling fan in the world would love to see this match live and in person. We're very fortunate to see it. Big chop from C.W. Anderson. How about the Blue Meanie coming out as the special manager? I was totally out of left field. The old school militia led by Rob Dimension. Well, Who'd Jack Victory is the lord of the old school, and Steve Carino is the king, so they can pretty much do whatever they want. Can we go ahead and name Rob Dimension the court jester? Yeah, that would be appropriate. Okay. You know, flunky, lackey, whatever you want to call it. All of the above. And down now. What a mismatch of experience right now. You know, Ricky Landell looks up so much to both Steve Carino and Jack Victory. This has to be hard for him. He is all business tonight. Though. Oh, he's firing back. Jack Victory, the human pinball. Carino asking in vain for a timeout, Victory too. Jack Victory complaining about closed fists, that's pretty ironic. No kidding. Brian Regal, if I would have asked you at the beginning of the creation of World One, which we all know you were around for a part of, and as a member of the World One Hall of Fame, how does it make you feel to see a gentleman like Rob Dimension, and I use that term loosely, who has been a bitter enemy of Steve Carino's for many years, all of a sudden become seemingly best friends? He was, he's not only a bitter enemy of Steve Carino, he was a bitter enemy of World One itself. He kept trying to infiltrate with his PWF faction, which, let's be honest, I was part of the PWF. Yes, sir. It doesn't exist anymore. It hasn't existed for three years. Yet Rob Dimension tried to keep up the charade. And look where it led him. It led him out of this company, or so we thought. In fact, just the last time we were in this building is when he was banished from the company. That's correct. He was here to, in a very despicable act, be handcuffed to Alaire Littlefeather, see to it that she was injured, and lead his team to victory that evening. Very smart move from Carino, taking away Anderson's left hand. Of course, CW is a southpaw, known for those devastating punches. Face wash, always a nice part of the daily routine. Yeah. 
typical Anderson style, going to work on the arm. You heard him earlier in the night. Every uh, tag team that's had an Anderson in it has done well. And he uh, thinks it's because of him, and I have to be inclined to agree. Nobody's going to argue with C.W. Anderson for many reasons. First and foremost, just look at the guy. But second of all, there's no denying that he is one of the greatest workers in the world at this time. Nobody can deny C.W.'s talent. Landell is lucky to have him in his corner. Landell left himself wide open for that right hand. And, I mean, what? Was Carino really that upset by losing to his protege? I mean, he's really displayed some viciousness towards Ricky Landell. That match they had, they literally beat the snot out of each other for 22 minutes. Carino actually said later on after he cooled down that he was happy for Landell and his success, but only sort of. He never really completely apologized for his actions, and he's never really gotten over the fact that his student has the title and he does not. Now Rob Dimension back to his old tricks. Is Dimension wearing yellow socks, by the way? I believe so. That matches his personality. He's a coward. Hey. Took the words right out of my mouth. And you just see the uh, the teamwork between Carino and Victory. I, mean, I know for a fact they haven't tagged together for quite some time, but it's like they never missed a beat. All we're missing is the high spot sign. Brings back memories, Brian Reed. Oh, a little reversal of fortune. Reno fortunate enough to be in his own corner. Tags in the fresh Jack victory. Who's asking for the camera. Oh, Jack. Jacko, that's expensive. Oh, our video department can't be happy about our camera being in the hands of Jack victory. I hope that has stability control. Can you imagine taking that size 15 to the face, Brian Regal? And Landell, the fact that he's still moving is testament to his strength. Big karate internal. chop from Jack Victory. Sorry to interrupt, Steve. Victory already flashing the victory high sign, high spot sign. Ricky Landell, unfortunately, on the wrong side of the ring. He just jammed a thumb into the throat of Ricky Landell. Landell in a world of hurt. He's got to get over. Meany encouraging him and the crowd. Perhaps this is what Landell needs, but he's got victory right in his sights. And not the kind that he needs. Just me or is the meanie's hair purple? It's definitely a more purplish tinge of blue than I've seen in the past. Oh, now pulling on the face, the nose and the mouth. Ricky trying to get back up to his feet, and he does. Musters up enough strength for a right hand, but quickly countered by Carino. Sunset flip attempt by Landell. Can he get him over? No, Carino sits out. Yes, he got him. So close. Once again, Carino grabbing Landell's boot, not allowing him to get over. And victory with the squash. Victory just smothering Landell now. Carino with some choice words for Mike Keener. He's been threatening to fire Keener, 
from the time he walked in the ring. I'm not sure what's gotten into him. It's like he gets worse as the night goes on. Dimension Kool-Aid. Mandel being pulled up by his hair into the front face lock. Oh, countered by Landell, boot to the stomach. DDT on victory. Landell can just roll to his right. He can just roll to his right and make the tag. And he does, C.W. Anderson in the ring. Big left hand. CW calling for calling a spine buster, let's see it. No, counter by Carino. Victory trips over Carino. Falls into Anderson. I'm not sure what happened with those two there. Rob Dimension looks totally confused and baffled. Carino telling Victory he's still the legal man. Crowd with a cheater's chant. It's certainly not the worst thing they've ever been called. That is true. The crowd would be well within their rights to be chanting something much worse. Dimension getting in Keener's face. Now that looks like the wrong dimension of old. Meany and Landell once again encouraging C-Dub. Is there still a tinge of pink in Carino's hair tonight? Definitely a remnant of his most recent tour of Japan. There are many who say CW has the hardest punch in the business, Brian Regal. They are, they would be correct. They now pulling a page out of Dusty Rhodes' book. Springboard back elbow. Landell on fire since he got back to the ring. World one champ looking to once again get over on his teacher. Leapfrog followed by a big clothesline. Not enough to hold down Steve Carino. Mike Keener with the two count. Landell going to the top, it looks. Landell not known for his high flying. Connects with a drop kick, goes for the cover. One, two. Jack Victory makes the save. CW Anderson's seen enough of that. Mike Keener, I think, has lost some control here. I have not seen Rob Dimension really get up on the ring and get physically involved like normal. Oh, fist drop from Landell from the top. I guess I spoke too soon. Or excuse me, Dimension just attacked the Blue Mini. Blue Mini with one and a half good uh, lungs right now. That Blue cannot Mini help. Caught by surprise. That's the only way Rob Dimension would get the advantage on him. Low blow by Carino. Landell ducks the punch. Super kick. There are a few who do it better than CW. Landell now going for the pin and once again taking that boot from Jack Victory. Meany is still down by oh, another super kick right under the jaw. Jack Victory to the outside. CW follows him. Meanwhile, Landell and Carino left in the ring. Dimension just brought us a sweater. He's got something in his hand. I don't know what it is. And a chair. Carino, Landell trading forearms. Victory slamming c Dub into the post on the outside. Landell, Landell is capitalized. He's going to work in the knee of Carino. Figure four center in the ring. We saw this in Pottstown. Brian Regal, while you're calling that action on the 
outside of the ring. Dimension has now, he's got a chain wrapped around CW's left hand. Carino's, Carino's tapping. tapping. Carino's tapping. Carino's tapping. Dimension and victory are literally chain tied CW to the outside of the ring at this point, Brian Regal. And handcuffs. Meanie's up in front of us. Sorry for the Jerry Lawler-esque outburst, Brian. Carino and Victory have that chair in the ring. trying to get himself removed from the handcuffs. Meany taking it to Ralph Dimension. Right here in front of us. Meanwhile in the ring, a double team coming up. Dimension over the railing, Brian Spike Regal. Pile driver on the chair, Spike Pile Driver. Yeah. 